Chef Rebo Monet, and I am the founder and the creator, CEO of Sex in the Kitchen. And of course, we is here to always let you guys know you can always stimulate your mind, body, and soul to make your sex life so much better. And it's always about keeping a heart extra wet and guess what? Always tasty. So today, I just want to let you guys know about my plans of omega-3 fatty acids. Number one fish that you can get it in is, of course, salmon. So I'm just going to make me a good old salmon salad tonight for dinner. But I just want to go over all the good old beneficial things of salmon. Salmon basically has a number one and the most omega-3 fatty acid in it. And guess what? It reduces all of the inflammations in all of your arteries and stuff. So it always give you better circulation. It gives you better stimulation and always keep your blood flowing everywhere. So everywhere means your heart, your brain, and also down there, pussy and dick, of course. So we need omega-3 fatty acids. That's why I always came up with my good old idea, which is sex in the kitchen, because sex in the kitchen is always about sex and it's about food. I'm a chef, I'm also a nutritionist. So I noticed that when I eat certain type of foods, I don't get horny. Certain type of things, I don't want it. Certain type of stuff, it always make me stopped up, you know? So if you're not actually circulating in a lot of areas, it's gonna be messed up. So always know that salmon is a good, good, good fish that you can eat. So I'm about to give you an example. You always start off like this. Let me see how tiny <laughs> guys are. So of course we need circulation or, you know, really we can't see it. It's nowhere to be found and that's not going to please any type of woman, of course. So since it's not going to please any type of woman, you know, this little itty bitty thing, um, we're going to always have to bring blood circulation to it. And since we need to bring blood and circulation to it, we always need the omega-3 fatty acid. So I know guys who can go from this to this, and we don't really want that. It still is not all that. It's like, uh. So we always need to understand that the circulation and the stimulation is always really important because it is just no firmness that can give us that good old penetration that we need. Not nothing like this, you know. So we need to do better. We need to do better by taking care of our man. We need to do better by our man taking care of us. So if we don't take care of the dick, the dick is not going to take care of us. And guess what? We're going to have some fucked up attitudes all day, all night. Fucked up attitudes. We can't sleep. <laughs> we not getting put to bed. We not doing nothing. We not being stimulated. We not being set aside at all. And since we're not being stimulated and satisfied with a flimsy old penis that can't get, you know, as hard as we need, we need to take care of our man and give them some good old omega-3 fatty acids. Because it always helps the circu circulatory system work better. Your circulatory system, it helps your brain, it helps your heart, and it helps your pussy and your dick. We always got to understand it helps both of them, pussy and dick. So... Basically, it's not just always about ED. It's about women. It's about, you know, our blood flow to our pussy, too. Sometimes women can't come really good. Sometimes pissing, you know, pussy. <laughs> I said pissing. Anyways, pussy, you know, can't really, you know, get the circulation that it needs for the sens sensitivity. I know, right? <laughs> the sensitivity. So, basically... Women and men need to have omega-3 in their diets. Women and men need to actually, you know, do better with their diets, period. You know, so it also has protein, it also has vitamin, um, vitamin B12, it also has vitamin D, iron, and zinc. So zinc, iron, vitamin D, vitamin B, B anything is good for you because you're supposed to take vitamin B in order to have energy. So if you're actually not able to fuck, 
if you're actually not able to have energy to get it going and get it up, then that means that you need some bi um, vitamin B12. <laughs> I keep on saying vitamin because it is all, all about the B. It's all about the Bs, period. Vitamin B is the best. B12, B6, B3, B whatever the <laughs> you want to be. <laughs> but always get them vitamin Bs all day, every day. And zinc, of course. Everybody and their mama know that zinc helped with COVID-19. I guess that's the reason why I'm not affected by it. Because I eat fish every fucking day. Okay? It will be oysters. It will be salmon. Um, it, it doesn't even matter. You know, whiting. It will be tuna. You know, fresh tuna, not canned tuna. Not anything canned because it's too processed. So that's where we're going to go with these females. So look, females, babies. We need to stop always eating all of this processed fruits and vegetables because they always give off that fake hormone that is our natural hormone, which is what? Estrogen. So when us females continue to eat these fake ass fruits and vegetables that they keep on producing and, and just making and just putting out here in our bodies, we are going to keep on producing fake estrogen. You know how that's not good? Because it causes cancer, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, and it actually turns down your sex drive. It reduces your libido. It actually makes your ass not want any dick. It makes you have a fucked up ass attitude. Because it's a fake ass estrogen that's up in your blood. You need to stop being fake. That's just period. And we need to stop eating fake ass foods too, period. Because it also reduces our depression when we eat more organic food. It will make us more horny. It will make us want our man. It will actually make us appreciate our man and know our fucking place. We're not a man. They are. So at the end of the day, if we always get in this fake estrogen, that means our testosterone levels are a little bit too high right now. And I'm just being honest. I'm just being real. It is so many dope ass females out here doing their shit, doing their own thing, doing whatever the fuck they want, when they want, how they want. Fuck a nigga. Fuck this nigga. Ah, that's because we get all this fake ass estrogen, honestly, in our system. Aaliyah wasn't like that, you know. Left eye, even though she set his house on fire, all his clothes and shit. Well, not his house, but all his clothes and shit on fire. <laughs> She still loved a nigga. Like, we still was a female back in the day. It's like nowadays, we try to be like niggas too much. So, at the end of the day, you know, I want us females to know that we need to stop eating all them fake old fruits and vegetables. Um, you know, and it also reduces depression. Depression, men and women, it always, they always, always fuck up our sex life. Depression. So... Omega-3, it always helps us relax and it always help us calm down as well because our circulation is working well. So people need to understand that our circulation is working well. So since our circulation is working well, that means that we're more relaxed and we're more laid back. When we're actually more tense, it means that our circulation has stopped somewhere. You know, it stopped here, it stopped there, it stopped wherever it stopped at. So... That means that you need to get it flowing again in order for you to fight it. Fight that irritation, that anxiety, and depression. So that brings me next to men. <laughs> Guess what? You guys need to fight your anxiety and stuff too because I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, some men get nervous and, you know, they get scared and, you know, they get like... <laughs> In their head, and they can't get on hard. <laughs> like, it's so many men that can't get on hard. <laughs> Only because they in their fucking head. <laughs> like, get out of your head. Know that you're the best. Know that even if you ain't that size, even if you is, like, you know, you at least firm like this and not, you know, <laughs> wiggly like this. So, here's a big difference, you see. Okay. You can be firm and you can be not firm. But at the end of the day, even if you're small like this, that's all that matters. Guess what? You just need to get out of your head so that you can just beat it the fuck up and beat it the fuck up and keep on. Because it's women with different pussy sizes and everybody know that. Like some women got deep, 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 deep pussies 
and some women got some short ass pussies and they be like, ah, oh, nigga, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> so it just depends. And you just gotta find a pussy that's right for you. But always have that confidence. When you don't got that confidence, that bitch ain't gonna want you. She's not gonna want you. She's not gonna fiend for you. She's not gonna desire you because you actually don't have any confidence in yourself. So guess what? How can she have confidence in you? Mm. You better learn how to get your dick on her and make your dick work when you want it to work. Make your dick work when you, when when you tell it to work. You better you better make it. <laughs> you better make it work. So that's to where we get to, of course, our big old cucumbers, of course, right? So this is how we want to be. This is this is what we want to be. This is where we want to be. <laughs> And you know what I'm saying? This is what us females want, you know? <laughs> this is what we need in our life to keep our attitude together so that our attitude can actually support y'all, you know? Because I know our attitude can fuck y'all up. It can irritate y'all. It can make y'all not want to even fuck us. But guess what? If y'all don't fuck us, we're not going to actually want anything. So... You always have to make sure that you are being healthy enough to not get diabetes, Parkinson, Alzheimer's, and other neuro, um, neurological diseases. So those neurological diseases, it will always make sure that you do not get to this point. You see, we want to get to this point. We don't want to get, you know, we don't want to, you know, get to this point. We don't want to stay at this point and not be able to get there. You, you get what I'm saying? We don't, we don't want to be able to get there, you know, because everybody knows that you start off this long and you can just grow. Okay? So, at the end of the day, we don't want those diseases. That means keep the salt out of your diet. That means keep the sugar out of your diet. That means, you know, keep certain things out of your fucking diet and you will be able to keep your dick like this until you're 90 years old, still having kids, still doing what you want to do. Still... Still doing everything that you was doing when you was only a teenager with this, okay? So, I just want to let you guys know also, alcohol. Just have two drinks a day, you know, sometimes. Because before you know it, it's going to catch up with you. I mean, if you're drinking all day and you're drinking and drinking and drinking all day and drinking and drinking and drinking all day, it's going to catch up with you. Me and them women, it's going to catch up with you. <laughs> y'all motherfuckers think that just because y'all are 30 and younger or 40 and younger, because I just hit the 30 mark. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I'm trying to reserve my shit. I'm trying to make sure that my pussy stay sensitive, it stay good, it stay circulating. You know, period. You got to make sure that the circulation keeps it here. We don't want it here. We don't want it to keep it, you know, here. We want it to actually always grow. So keeping it, you know, growing means, you know, those water pills, those blood pressure pills, those um, diabetic medicines, you know. Also, guess what? Like I say, to get your anxiety and shit in check. Because if you're going to take them antidepressants as well, it fucks up your dick too. If you can't get your mind right, you can't get your dick right. If you can't get your heart right, you can't get your dick right. If you can't get your your your, your heart right, you can't get your pussy right. Your pussy can't get wet. Guess what? Because your mind is fucked up. <laughs> People don't understand that. And it starts with food. It starts with, you know, choosing food as our medicine instead, instead of choosing basically everything that these people want us to use so that we can actually stay down. We don't want to stay down. We actually want to grow. We want to get better. We want to get so much better. <laughs> so, we also want to know that basically majority of all fishes, it only take about five to six hours. Five to six hours to digest. Keep on eating your beef if you want to and your pork and your chicken and your goddamn turkey. Go ahead, baby. You will not have that shit digest out of your system. Once again, when your circulation stops somewhere, it motherfucking stop down there too. And we need to understand that. Period. If it stop right there, it's going to stop down there. If it stop right here, it's going to stop down there. If it stop right here, it's going to stop. I mean, period. We need to understand that. It's going to stop. So, only thing I'm letting you guys know is make sure that your circulation is number one. And the number one food that will always help your circulation is the ocean. Guess what? Everything that us Americans or actually humans know about is space and also the earth. But we don't know shit about the motherfucking ocean. 
You see this right here? They don't know shit about us Pisces. <laughs> and they don't know shit about the ocean. <laughs> because it's good for you. Okay? Period. It's good for you. And we need to always understand that. You know, like, anything that they can't manipulate is fucking good for you. So all them oysters that they can't manipulate, all the motherfucking fishes that can't manipulate, all, everything in the ocean. Because me... I basically only eat majority of seafood and vegetables. And actually it got me it got me feeling <laughs> I can't even say, but it really, 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 really works. So I just want you guys to know at the end of the day, a good diet helps boost your libido and it basically helps your body circulation so much better. A poor diet can lead to a host of health issues, meaning you can be obese, you can have diabetes, you can basically have high blood pressure, hypertension, you can have certain um, cancers. Also, of course, food is prostate cancer. Men, happy belated Father's Day if you are a father. I just want to let you guys know though. <laughs> um, so prostate, your prostate health, it only depends on you. It don't depend on any gene. It don't depend on your daddy. It don't depend on anybody. It depends on you and what the fuck you put in your mouth. So if you have any prostate health, it is what you are doing to yourself. I just want to let you guys know that. So I also want to let you guys know just eat organic. Try to eat organic as much as possible, especially us females, because us females need to make sure that we are not getting that fake-ass estrogen hormone in our body. That's the reason why we keep on acting like some niggas. Not even joking. We the ones that's on first 48 and snapping. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. So we need to eat more organic foods. We need to eat, we need to make sure that the food is natural. We need to make sure that it is the natural estrogen hormone that we need to actually, you know, um, function our hormone of estrogen in our bodies naturally. We don't ever need to take any type of supplements. To let you guys know, if you take a pill, only about 10% of the pill is digested in your body. So, guess what? It's going to be shitted out and it's going to be pissed out. So, you really don't need to take any type of supplements if you are eating good organic food and organic food of where you know where it's coming from. So, we're going to um, just follow. Basically, we want to get from this. We want to get from this. Then this, and then this, so always this. And you can always reverse a lot of functions or sexual dysfunctions, I'm sorry, with the way that you eat. You should always follow me, of course, Chef Red Ball on Day. <laughs> my first live video here ever. Um, you know, for my for my business chef, um, Rebo Monet for Sex in the Kitchen. I really appreciate you guys who watch, who actually ask us the questions. I'm going to get back with you guys um, as soon as I can with these questions. And I'm going to start doing more lives about our sexual health and what we put in our bodies to make sure that we can always keep it hard, extra wet, but always tasty.